You ready? Okay. I have not played the spectacularly beautiful air hostess. <clears throat> Good afternoon. Welcome to Johnson Airways. What's your ticket number, madam? My seat's 24D. Right this way, please. Is this your bag? Yes, it is. Please place it under your seat. Or stow it in the overhead locker. Now, fasten your seat belts. Can I be the passenger? Of course. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes, madam. My headset doesn't work. Oh. Have you got a newspaper? Excuse me. Can I have another glass of champagne? Can I see the duty-free catalog? There it is. How much is that in Euro? Sorry, can you speak more slowly? <laughs> I'm tired. Traveling is tiring. Let's check you into your hotel. Okay. <clears throat> Good evening. Welcome to the Johnson Hotel. Good evening. I have a booking for tonight. Under what name, madam? Fuentes. No, Pitt. <coughs> May I see your passport, please? Here it is. Thank you, madam. Here is your room key. Your room number is 217, on the second floor. Thank you. What time tomorrow? Checkout is at 12 noon. Hmm. I'd like a wake-up call at 8.30, please. Breakfast is from 7 to 9. Thank you. Good evening. The TV doesn't work. Oh, do you have a map? Uh, the window does not open. Enough! <laughs> well done! <laughs> Thank you. Now let's get some supper. Mm -hmm. Hi everybody. Are you ready for another super English lesson? Do you like traveling? I love it. And you probably like it too. Okay, so take your suitcases and let's go. Today we are going to learn about the verb can and its negative and interrogative forms. I can sing very well. I can't play the piano, but I can play the guitar. Can you play the piano? Great, then we can play together. After that, we will compare can and want. Jade can't speak Spanish very well, but she wants to learn it, so she's studying hard. Then we will talk about the imperative and the negative imperative. Drive slowly. Don't smoke. Finally, we'll see the demonstrative adjectives this, that, these, those. This book. That book. These books. Those books. Let's start with Ken, okay? Agatha can have another glass of champagne. Elena can speak English. I can teach you a lot of things. Have you noticed anything unusual about the third person singular? Right! With the verb can, the third person singular does not use an S. I can, you can, he, she, it can, we can, you can, they can. Can is a modal verb and it means to be able. I can drive a car. I am able to drive a car. How about the negative and interrogative forms of can? Can I see the duty-free catalog? Can I smoke? No, you can't. The negative form of can is can't or cannot. And the interrogative form is 
Can I? Can you? Can you go out tonight? No, I can't, but I want to. Can you guess what is the difference between can and want? I can go out means I have the ability to do it. I want to go out means that I have the desire to do it. You want to learn English. Let's practice it. Which brings us to our next point, the imperative. At the beginning of this episode, Agatha is pretending to be a flight attendant. She says, please place your bag under your seat. Fasten your seatbelt. It's usually better to use please. Please sit down. Please give me that duty-free catalog. To make the imperative negative, we simply put don't in front of it. Can you think of what you can't do on an airplane? Don't smoke. Don't use your mobile phones. And so on. Finally, we are talking about this, that, and the plurals, these, those. This is a ticket. That is a wallet. These are tickets. Those are wallets. They are called demonstrative adjectives. Okay, I think it's enough for today. I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. Bye and see you soon.